why they throw dirt on themselves. Keep the flies away. It's for mating season. I did not know that. It's so the ladies know that they're nasty. Ah. The males have like different tendencies. Yeah. And the ones that like throw dirt on them, they're like really, really Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. Okay, all right. No, I'm playing around about it. <laughs> I was gonna say, that does not sound. They actually believed him for a second and for obvious reasons because uh, it's mating season for these two ladies as well. If she goes out and she cheats on me, God forbid, then the trash took itself out. I'll break up with you. It's it. Is it going to hurt? For sure. But that's way better than trying to sit there and control her and not get her to go out because I don't want her to cheat on me. If she's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you. Like, there's nothing you could do to control that. The, the whole idea of controlling someone is an illusion. But what you can be is mm. confident in yourself so that you don't try and control them and try and tell them who they can or can't hang out with or who, where they can or can't go. He's got a great point, but that only works for men. For women, oh my god, there's an ocean of women that control and manipulate their men. And trust me, they play the long game. They will sit it out, yeah, and just wait and wait and have their own little schemes and their own little plans. Maybe they found a guy who's financially stable. They don't really like him, he's not really into the girl, but the girl is gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna manipulate him long play uh, so I can get his uh, resources and stuff like that. So uh, watch out if you qualify. Yeah, watch out. Option A is to stay with your wife for the rest of your life. Option mm. B, 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 I choose B. Yeah, I know it's a joke, uh, but most married men that I know personally and I know quite a few uh, they would definitely choose option B whatever they, they are not they don't even know what option B is they will choose it what would you rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 3 3 that's a long oh, time cool. behind though that's the solid 3 I appreciate that I would say I'll give you like a 6 a 6 yeah are you just saying that because you're salty no I, I would give you 6 before this but you're cute honestly yeah, no. honestly I think that's a low rating you think that's low yeah I give myself a solid 8 Really? Solid. Well, hey, we can agree to disagree. I mean, yeah, he's kind of salty, but um, she's not necessarily... It, it always depends where the girl is at. Obviously, if she's going to be like in some Asian village or whatever, she's going to be a 10. In Miami or New York, she's like a 5. In London, she's a 9. Would you ever f Lizzo? Ooh. Lizzo? Do you want me to pull up a picture? It sounds familiar. Oh, she's familiar. Hold on. Yeah, she's a mammal. She bad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> For some like money to pay that rent that you gotta pay, right? Huh? Huh? What? I said you for some money so you could pay your rent. I don't have to. Right, so wait, so what you doing? Right, so what you doing? Listen, what you do on social media that you get so much money to pay for that house you live in? Um. Oh, if, one hundred percent. What? Yeah. Hurry up! I'm waiting, bro. Don't don't get advice from this. Aggressive. Don't say that word. <clears throat> that. I don't know why there's this uh, massive brainwashing thing now where. Uh, Lizzo is so beautiful, she's this and that. As soon as you tell a girl that she looks like Lizzo, it's an insult. Why is that? I thought she's a beautiful woman. Or is she? I'm sorry that your uterus is shedding and you're not feeling well. But I had a sliver this morning and it really hurt. And I have a pretty good mood about it now. So I was just thinking it could be an encouragement to you to change your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I have the greatest idea ever. I heard that distraction was really good for relieving pain. So since the house is messy, I figured you could do some dishes and maybe do a load of laundry and scrub a toilet or two to really distract <laughs> Honey, are you still cramping? Why don't you use a heating pad? That would help. Why don't you run to town and grab a new one and you can grab me an Xbox controller while you're there because mine broken. I'm in a lot of pain about the whole thing. <laughs> do you know what always makes me feel better when I'm not feeling well? A really nice massage, a warm bath, some hot tea, some chocolate, popcorn, and a nice movie. That sounds so good right now. I know. Would you be able to make that for me? My tummy kind of hurts. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is the correct attitude to have in a relationship. Just have some fun, teaser, and just play like the dominant role. Don't play like the submissive sissy little bitch. 
She's not gonna respect that. If she can manipulate you, she will never respect that. Just be teasing, be funny, but you know, just maintain uh, some dominance. Otherwise, the attraction for you, if she had any to begin with, is gonna fade away. Not too hard, not too hard, not too hard. No, hit her like you really want. That's pretty good. All right, she, okay, I'm gonna pitch her. Uh, she just said something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bradley Martin oh, abuses wow. women. That was hard. No, it wasn't. I barely even swung. Is my stomach red? Now she tries to flex her abs. Is my stomach red, guys? I mean, it's just banter and it's just a lame way for them to um, show you their muscles like, hey, look at me, I'm packing. So what? Good for you. I'm already gone too many days, I'll be real. More times it's just girls going to my house. You look like your voice is putting your face to sleep. So uh, I, I don't know what women go to your house. Does you make effort? Like, what do you do? I, I so if you invite a woman over, what do you do? It's, it's been quite a long time since I've had to really try to get a girl. Like, it's been quite a long time. It's, not, it's like, you know, it's when you're as a kid, getting that girl and you've worked hard for her and it was like, it was like a grind almost. Yeah. Now it's become boring kind of thing because I don't have to try too much. I mean, I would say, yeah, being that confident and calm maybe has its, um, has its uh, perks. Not really a huge fan of it. And... Men that brag about getting pussy, they never get as much as they brag about. Excuse me, do you want to yeah. kiss or spin on the mystery wheel? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's spin the wheel. Funny, an Indian didn't go for the kiss. You look very nice. Are you excited? Yeah, really excited. Very excited. What's your body count? Seven. Seven? Zero. Oh, wow, what do you think mine is? Seventy. Seventy? Oh my yeah. god, that's really high. <laughs> Why do you think that? Like, what you're wearing. Okay, well, that was kind of rude. No, no, no. No? Because no? yeah. you like to look at it. Like, I know you like to look at <laughs> it. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no? I mean, he was uncomfortable. Those uh, shoes, the flip-flops, they look disgusting. Especially uh, on a weather like that. Like, the flip-flops don't match with the rest of the outfit. And that pink shirt. Dude, you're not in GTA Vice City. Yeah, just get some manly clothes. Just get a bit of spice in there and just, I don't know, get a better haircut. Women like to cook. I learned how to cook, like just going over social media and everything. I'm like, the women like a man who gonna get in that <laughs> kitchen and go crazy. So I'm like, why not go even crazy about throwing some seafood? As right. future say, all bad women eat seafood. Yeah. So might as well go with the pescatarian, natural. That's very <laughs> Have you ever got cheeks after you're cooking? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. You cook like a real gourmet meal for a woman, she gonna go beyond like belief what she was gonna do if she didn't have no food in her system. Especially if you go crazy. You gotta wear the apron too. I let her come over. I made like a the same salmon mm -hmm. and like some scalloped potatoes. She cold. She came in the room, no questions asked, hang, hung the head off the bed. Oh. And I was just doing tea bag motion. Nice. She hung it off the bed by herself? Oh, no, I directed her. I said, you know, lay on your back and just be free. And she <laughs> let me do me. I don't know what's with this uh, new thing where all these guys, they talk like they're high or they're high on drugs or something. Like, they just mumble and stumble through the words and they lay back like this with sunglasses inside. It's like, dude, you're playing a character, you're not being yourself. Especially if you're on camera and you wear sunglasses, like, you're not little John. Give me a fire pickup line. Probably be like, uh, I'm worth a couple hundred million. I, I figured that'd be something like that. What's yours? Do you like pizza? I get it. Because I want a I pizza like that. Right. Oh, well, I, I didn't see it going there, oh. but... I thought you knew the joke, that's why. No, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I get it, it and, and that would probably work too. Great, thank you. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, he's Dave Portnoy, uh, so he's gonna, he, if he wants a girl, I don't know, and he's leading with money, most likely he'll get it. That would probably work too. Great, thank you. Every woman who had a one night stand with Drake or someone like that, she's kind of in her mind ruined for a normal dude in a normal relationship from that point forward. And I hear this all the time, especially from women who live in Los Angeles. They're like, I dated so-and-so. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I know him and his wife. He you for sure, maybe twice. You never 
dated him. If I look up pictures of you and him on a red carpet somewhere, there are none. There's <laughs> pictures of him and his wife. You never dated him. And the fact that she even has the thought, the imagination that she dated him. Now think about that. In her mind, now that's what she compares every relationship to. So she ends up dating a shortstop for the Dodgers or ends up sleeping with him like two or three times. In her mind, she dated him and now every single person she dates from that point forward has to make the 20 million dollar a year guaranteed contract has to be this tall and in her mind that's who she wants and when things are dissatisfying in the relationship and the shortstop texts her in the middle of the night she is just far more likely to go back to him does everybody understand that is how social media has dated it's 100 percent true and especially if you live like in big metropolitan cities you just drag yourself every day with uh, images of cool places around the world or fast cars or pretty boys that are famous and are cream of the crop as far as genetics go right so he's good looking makes a lot of money and you drug yourself with all this stuff maybe at some point you do end up fucking a couple of them if you're pretty enough for them good for you but he's right your chances at a regular relationship are done why because you will always be delusional, uh, delusional about what if, what if I was with that guy, what if, and nothing below that is gonna make you happy. And you're gonna carry on that ambition until your uh, late 30s, early 40s, and by then it's too late anyway.